Hi guys, how are you doing? Um, another quick drill for you down at the gym again. I thought I'd, I'd rec um, record. Hi guys, how are you doing? Uh, back down at the gym, so I thought I'd record another quick drill for you. Again, it's, this is not a complex drill. This is taking some relatively simple concepts and tagging them together against the bag so you've got some way of practicing some of these simple underpinning uh, concepts. So, what we're going to look at today. Strikes we've already covered, so we're not going to add anything new in there, but we're going to add in another bit of footwork that we have yet to look at. And that's um, Ned Donnelly's sidestep. So, we're going to start with the right lead. Donnelly recommends a left, but I tend to always follow the right lead, that's just the way I am. I suspect it comes more from the wrestling than the boxing, but it's where I feel comfortable. Mendoza tells us we should be able to do everything with both leads. He says we need to be masters of equilibrium. Um, so, the advice is always practice both ways, but that's entirely down to you. So what we're going to look at today, really very simple. Nice stance just like before. Again, Donnelly does this from a very linear stance. We don't, by the time Donnelly was, was teaching, the Marcus of Queensbury's cup was already in existence and most of the grappling had been removed. So, we're not going to use Donnelly's stance, but his footwork is actually quite useful. So we're going to start off in our standard pugilist of guard. Uh, very much like Mendoza's, done a video on Mendoza's stance, check it out, uh, it's, uh, it's very well worth watching. So I'm going to start here, again, just at the edge of place, so we can punch without having to step, which means that the hand isn't tied to the speed of the foot. Then we're going to start off with our little drop step punch. I'm exaggerating everything so that you can see what's going on, but that's okay. When we're training, it's quite a good idea to make sure that you're overdoing things to a degree, as long as you do it knowingly. And that's the trick with drills. So we're going to start off here, we're going to throw a rear straight, and we're going to do that again with a rotation of the hips and a little drop of the weight. One, two, and then what we're going to do is we're going to throw a round blow along a horizontal path to the side of what would be the side of the head, this way. But as we do that, we're going to put in Donnelly's sidestep, which is effectively there. Now, what I'll do is I'll show you this, the sidestep by itself, so you can see how we're, we're adding this in. Effectively, when we're punching, we're letting our weight fall forwards. So you'll see, that as we punch, our weight's moving forwards, that's what powers the punch. With our sidestep, what we're doing is we're throwing our back leg out and away, and we're dropping our weight onto it in much the same way as you can see with a, with a fencing lunge, but in reverse. So, if we're here, our side step goes this way. We're maintaining our focus on our opponent, or in this case, the back. One, two, three. We're doing this, we're getting offline, and what we're able to do then is move around. We can come out of distance. We can move anywhere we want, but the basic drill is one, two, One, two, three. Now, one more tip before I go into the tip. When you're throwing this rolling back fist, make sure that you're contacting with the same knuckles. We're not aiming to contact here. We're aiming to contact with the back of the fist, close to the knuckles, as central as we can. That way, and just like all of our pugilistic punches, we're going to just compress our fist the moment before impact. Remember, this is not modern boxing. This is pugilism. The striking is different. So, straight punches, unless you're rolling to hit with the back of the fist. So, I'm done now. That's the last of the drill. That's the end of the week. I'll get some more recorded for next week. You've got, ooh, until about 10 o'clock tonight, my time. I've no idea uh, what that is for you. We're currently on British summertime. 10 o'clock tonight, I'm going to close down the lifetime membership offer over at Peterson.org. So if you haven't done it yet, get over and do it. Anyway, take care guys, I'll see you soon.